All right, so the first thing we want to do when we're new to GarageBand is to go to GarageBand and Sound Library. So I'm going to create an empty project. Just like this. Let's uh, just put a software instrument that just create to get rid of this window. And now go to Sound Library and you can see the Download Essential Sounds or Download All Available Sounds. And as you can see, these are grayed out for me, but they should be available for you. And this is just because I already have the sound library installed on my computer. So when you go to download all available sound, that will yeah, download the whole sound library for GarageBand. And that is pretty big in size. So you need to make sure that your computer has at least around 50 gigabytes of disk space available. So you can see that by going to the Apple logo here and about this Mac, and that will bring up the uh, how much disk space you have there available on your computer. All right, so I'm going to make a bit more overview of GarageBand itself in the next lecture. So see you in the next lecture.